What I'm particularly interested in in my research is how teachers deal with their multilingual classrooms and learners. The reason for this is that, like most Gambians, teachers have been, I've learned how to read and write in English, so they don't necessarily know how to read and write in their mother tongue or mother tongues. Also, there are hardly any resources available in uh, in those languages. And what's important as well is that the training doesn't, currently doesn't prepare them specifically to teach in a multilingual context. So the multilingual resources for primary schools in the Gambia toolkit emerged from the research, but is a teacher training. And what it does is that it introduces the teachers to the basic principles of mother tongue based uh, education, but the end goal really is to allow them to develop written teaching and learning resources where they embrace all the languages spoken by their learners. The toolkit, the teacher training, is going to be used by Gambia College, which is the national teacher training institution, to deliver a course. So we'll pilot it next year, and then the idea is that afterwards it would be offered to all of the year two students so the year two uh, teacher trainees at Gambia College so training to be primary school teachers. We've had uh, focus group sessions, feedback sessions when when we started developing the toolkit to get feedback and also session in schools where we tried some of the materials that that we developed. What's been particularly enjoyable is really working with children um, because they keep you on your toes, <laughs> they're unpredictable, but also, and that's very much relevant from the point of view of my research and the toolkit, they are the future of you know, the education context, the country that, that I've been working in. So uh, yes, definitely the little children as well. <laughs>